as much as I love makeup, I equally love taking it off. It just feels so good. So it's about 11 p.m. in London, and for me, the night is young because I'm a typical night owl. My daytime routine, skincare routine, is very simple and very low maintenance. But in the evening, I find that I have a lot of time and I really make the most of it. So my bathroom at nighttime is like a complete spa experience. So I'm going to use the original Lancome eye makeup remover so give that a shake and I'm going to soak a organic cotton wool pad and actually going to soak a second one and the way I'll do this is to put it underneath my eye because I'm wearing mascara top and bottom and then I'll take my pad place it over the top when it's really soaked and then I'm just going to let that really soak in so I'm just going to massage a little bit just rubbing the lashes from the top pad. And I think the key here is just to be super gentle. I don't wanna lose any lashes that weren't due to go because why would you wanna do that? Every lash is precious. Just remove. So that's taken off all of my mascara. Bye bye big eyes. And it's also removed my eye makeup. So I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So my mascara's all off, and the next thing I would do is use a balm cleanser. And I this is the bare minimum that I would do. So if I was doing nothing else, I would do a double cleanse with a cleansing balm. So I'm going to use this Evolve um, Organic Gentle Cleansing Melt. How good does that sound? So I'm gonna start by using about this much, and this is for my makeup removal. So, and this is just really to dissolve the makeup. And then just massage all across my forehead and eyebrows as well. The next thing I do, and I have a big draw here with every type of makeup, flannel and remover and cloth. So I'll use a really soft, either flannel or cleansing cloth and warm water. Remove all of that makeup, which is so good when you see it all coming off. I always do a second cleanse, not just for the security of knowing that all the makeup's off, but my second cleanse is my little meditation moment. And this is my second cleanse, and this is my massage moment. So, the length of time that I do this for will be different. This was taught to me by my mum when I was growing up. And she used to kind of, she'd be sitting there watching the television in the evening, doing this for like 30 minutes, like all these amazing kind of massage things on her face. And then I thought it was silly. And then eventually I noticed how beautiful her skin was. Sometimes I'm really like focusing on what my massage moves are and I know which ones to do, but sometimes I just drift off and sometimes I really go to town on the massage bit. Okay, that's it for tonight. Next, I'm gonna get some warm water and I'm gonna go again with my cloth. And then once I've done that, I'm actually gonna rinse my face as well with water. I don't use like hot water, I don't use cold water, I'll use lukewarm water. So firstly I'll use the cloth again or the mitt. It's just really nice to know that you've got every little bit of makeup off. And now I'm going to rinse my face with water. So that's my cleanse finished and my face feels so nice and soft. Now what I do next really depends on how my skin is at the moment, depending on what my skin's been up to and how short I want my routine to be. Sometimes I will feel like I need a bit of exfoliation. So I tend to never use anything harsh or, you know, uh, physical exfoliation. So I would use something like this, which is an AHA peel mask. This one is by Lernberger Staffsing and it's a lactic acid and it also has different 
oh, there's salicylic acid and things like that. So I might put that on for five minutes or something uh, just to really clear up my pores. Um, another one that I like actually is this one by Wren which is the glycolic mask. So I might just put them on and then go and watch a bit of TV or read a book. If I haven't got time for that and I'm rushing to bed, one I really like when I'm spotty is this one, which is the salicylic and retinol oil gel by, um, sorry, oil, it is not gel, by Dermalogica. Whenever I'm having spotty moments, blemishy skin moments, I'll use this every night for bed for about five days and that tends to just clear all of the spots away. Other nights, if I'm feeling like my skin is more on a um, dehydrated feeling or it just feels a little dry or it feels just good, I'll often use this, which I really like, which is a fermented essence from Korea. This stuff is so nice. I might just use this if I was doing a very quick routine. And I'll just press this into my skin. And this is like, it's lighter than a serum. It is just a really light essence, but it feels so moisturizing. I always do my chest. Don't forget your chest. Everything goes onto my chest. And then I would do maybe a light peel and then, uh, not every night, this is like two or three nights a week. And then I would do my new face. Before I use my new face, I would put on a mask. So sometimes I use a sheet mask. My favorites would be Suman. I like Philorga, which is a lifting mask. And I like the Genifique melting mask. I'll put that on and then I will take the mask off. The remaining serum that I have on, I'll then use that to use my new face. Or I would put on a nighttime mask. So something like this hydrating mask by Cora, because you need something to conduct the new face. So it does come as well with a hyaluronic gel, but I tend to mix it up a bit. And then I'll do a five minute routine with this. I mainly do my jaw and my cheeks. And if you do this every night, I actually swear by it. I think it really tightens up the muscles in your face. I'm not someone that uses very heavy um, night creams. I don't like that feeling. But occasionally, if I was very dry, like, I think during the winter when I've got the heating on a lot and your skin just starts to feel a little bit parched, then I might use something a little bit thicker. Like I quite like this firming night cream by Relida, um, pomegranate one. I would use a little bit of that all over. But otherwise I feel like serums are really good for me at night or essences or something like this, which is just a gel sleeping balm. So the next thing that I would do is Sometimes I use an LED mask at night as well. So maybe after I've done that and this mask is all completely sunk in, I would then go, I use the light salon. I use the facial one from the light salon. I also have one that's just for the chest area. So that's really good as well for like your immune system. I really like to kind of put that on sometimes if I'm doing my new face and I'll put the um, LED on my chest at the same time. Another thing I really like using are sprays. I love hydrating sprays. This brand, Cosmetic Immunity, is one of my favorite skincare brands. I use their, they do a lightweight gel moisturizer that I use during the day, and they do a ceramide moisturizer that I use during the day if my skin is a little on the dry side. Okay, the next thing I would use, and I would use this every night, is a brow serum. And this one is called New Brow. And I would just wipe through my brows. I've been using this for about two months now. No, longer, about four months, I think. My brows are out of control. They have grown crazy, it works so well. I'm having to pluck them most days because they're just growing like wildfire. I also use the Lash Serum as well by the same brand, New Lash. I've tried lots of different lash serums and I find this one is the best because not only does it make the lashes grow, it doesn't give me personally any irritation, which with some of the other ones, I've had quite a lot of irritation. So I'll just do a thin layer of that. 
close to my upper lashes. I actually keep this by the bed. It's the only way I can remember to use it every night. So I keep a little mirror and um, both of these products next to the bed. Other things that I do at night would be, I do always use hand cream or whatever I'm using on my face, I always put on my hands. When I get into bed, I usually do at least some body lotion. This is my favorite thing at the moment. It doesn't smell great, but I think it's such a good moisturizing cream. And this is a balm by Chloris, and this is their CBD heavy duty moisturizing balm. So I'll do a massage with that on my feet. So my feet just feel so good. The other thing that I'll do as well is I will always have some vitamin D and K2 drops. So I'll put about four or five of these drops under my tongue. As I say, I'm a night owl, but I tend to naturally get sleepy later. If I find that I'm really like, my mind is just going crazy. The thing that I love using is the Bark Remedy Rescue for nighttime. And I'll just put like a whole pipette of that on my tongue. And I think it just kind of chills out your mind a bit and just helps you to relax. If I am feeling like I'm tired or I've been standing up all day or I've been on a shoot that's a really long day, I love, love, love to have uh, magnesium bath so I use magnesium flakes that's like my favorite thing to do in the whole world having a magnesium bath for me is like a big big treat okay so I'm aware that this is turning into the lord of the rings of epic nighttime routines so I'm gonna wind it up another thing that I would do if I had washed my hair and my hair is frizzy before I go to sleep, I put on some of the Living Proof, and this is the Frizz Drops, to smooth through. Otherwise, I'd wake up tomorrow morning with a great big mass of frizz. So I twist round, as I've been taught by all the famous top hairdressers I've worked with, and press it into the hair. So I go through in sections and put that on, and then that would help me to wake up without a frizzy head of hair. My last thing to do is to, before I go to sleep, is I will wear a silk eye mask. There's a lot of natural daylight in the bedroom, which I don't like, but now I've got to the point where I can't actually sleep without them. I've just got used to them. So I have a nice selection of really pretty ones, all manner of beautiful sleeping masks, and I just love them. So I'll put my eye mask on and that's it that is my epic nighttime routine to be honest some nights i will do all of it and more that's the benefit of being a night owl i guess sleep well and i'm wide awake so i'm gonna go and read a book or something lots of love bye